Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where I discuss important health topics, especially related to obesity and losing weight. Today, we're diving into a question that's maybe on your mind if you're considering bariatric surgery. Is bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery risky or specifically more riskier than being obese? So let's dive in and take a look. And before we get started, I just wanna mention that this video is not sponsored by anyone and I am not a doctor or a medical professional. I'm just a bariatric patient myself. I'm sharing my journey on this channel with you so you can learn if you are considering weight loss surgery and the tips and strategies that I did to get through my process to get down to my, my goal weight. If you'd like with this type of content, you're considering the surgery, be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos in this series. There's a common misconception that weight loss surgery is extremely risky. And I wanna sort of dive into some of the pros and cons of getting the surgery and why maybe it's not as risky as you may think. Believe it or not, recent studies have shown that over 200,000 bariatric patients analyzed that the risk of death of weight loss was found to be just 0.16%, 0.16%, or about one in every 600 people results in death. That's like, seems like a lot, like one in every 600, but if you think about it, it's probably less riskier than driving a car every day. So one in 600, I think is pretty good odds, considering the type of lifestyle that you may be living in order to get the surgery from that point. This rate is actually lower than many other surgeries too. For example, gallbladder surgery is much higher and even knee replacement surgery is higher than this percentage. Let's put it into perspective. Compared to severe obesity, the risk of death is significantly drops post weight loss surgery. The benefits extend beyond just weight loss for when you get the surgery. There's a 40% reduction in the risk of disease, over 90% decrease in deaths related to diabetes and more than 50% decrease in heart disease and fatalities. So you can see that getting weight loss surgery or getting your weight in, sh in order, whether that's through surgery or, or through non-surgery, is definitely probably better than not getting a surgery at all, or at least in my opinion. Important to understand that bariatric surgery does not come without risks. I'm not saying it is completely safe. You could have a bad situation, but that being said, it is less risky than most common surgeries that you may have, and also like any surgery, whether it's bariatric or non-bariatric, they come with the potential for infection, blood clots, and the risks for internal or external bleeding. Long-term risks also warrant attention as well when it comes to bariatric surgery. Nutritional deficiencies are among the most common given the surgery's impact on your natural absorption in your gut. With the right dietary strategies, and if you take your multivitamins like the doctor prescribes, you should be okay. Uh, there are plenty of supplements out there specifically designed for different types of bariatric surgery. So de definitely be sure to check your dietitian and your doctor before you maybe have the surgery and understand the costs of these as well. There are pretty significant costs when it comes to keeping and maintaining a nutritional profile through supplements after a surgery. A couple of final points to this video. If you're considering bariatric surgery, different surgeries have different risk profiles. Obviously, I went with the gastric bypass. Gastric bypass is like the gold standard of bariatric surgery. It has been, this operation has been performed a numerous times, millions of times, if not billions of times since like the 1990s. And I know my surgeon who I went to actually had like hundreds of thousands of surgeries himself under his belt with this, right? So it's a very common surgery. The, uh, the BSG or vertical gastric band is also very common and something that surgeons perform this surgery every single day. So I would be less concerned about some of the more popular ones. There are some more cutting edge ones that are coming out there. That's where you may have more of a potential risk profile. Definitely get to have the conversation with your doctor and your physician and your surgeon before you actually commit to which surgery and the risk profiles that come with each one of them. In conclusion, bariatric surgery, it does have risks, but in my opinion, Given the amount of science and technology and just evolution in healthcare that has happened, the positives far outweigh the potential risks in bariatric surgery. Now, granted, I can't guarantee you're going to have a 100% easy sailing surgery like I had, but ultimately, I think that if you look at the stats, you're pretty safe in that aspect. It's probably much more riskier to stay or maintain your unhealthy lifestyle or an obese lifestyle given that you're a higher risk of cancer, you're a higher risk of diabetes, you're a higher risk of other complications that come with being obese. Therefore, I would recommend getting the surgery if you're on the border. I know for me, when I was approved for the surgery, I was looking in line to see how risky bariatric surgery was. And I do hope that the information that I found in my research was helpful for you in making your final decision. And I hope that this was a little bit reassuring for you that getting surgery is 
complicated. It is a hospitalization and it, it, there are potential risks. But if you follow the plan and stay on, on track with what your doctor recommends after the surgery, for example, making sure you maintain some activity so you don't get blood clots, making sure you drink lots of water, and obviously maintaining a healthy lifestyle will put you in a better situation to stay in the clear and get through the surgery and get your goal weight in the best possible manner. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you want more content like this for me. And tell me about your surgery. Did you have complications in your surgery or did you have a, a smooth sailing, easygoing surgery just like me? Leave a comment below. I'd love to uh, share that with the community and show others who are considering this life altering surgery and how the pros and cons that happen from getting it. And I want you to leave a comment because I hope, I hope that will inspire someone to change their life self in positive and really enjoy life in the best possible way they can. So thanks for watching. That's it for this video. Bye for now.